Hey y'all, I'm Erin Connolly and I am watercolor illustrator commissioned by Adobe Fresco to create an illustration and a tutorial that will be able to show you how to better use this coming straight from analog world. So let's get started. One of the things that I found to be super helpful when I'm creating digital paintings after coming from analog is to create a watercolor paper texture. So what I'll do is I'll upload an image of watercolor paper and I'll create a whole new layer with it, setting that layer to multiply and then decreasing the opacity to a texture that I feel like emulates the watercolor paper but isn't distracting. So once I get to that place, when I paint over it, it will feel more like I'm painting watercolor. My next tip is to go ahead and use Adobe's live brushes. They are one of the best resources I've found to emulate watercolor in a digital platform. What they do is they're able to increase or decrease the amount of water and increase or decrease the amount of flow to feel like you're actually getting paint on a brush and loading it up with water from a glass. So this layer, I'm choosing a very light blue, setting it to multiply and keeping the opacity high to create a shadow layer. And this particular brush, I'm doing a detail round and allowing it to just get the details of the shadows and then adding pure water to let those shadows crawl out and create a nice texture of shadow on the roof. You can double tap the shortcut key to get pure water and to create a really nice effect on a layer that stays wet. If you want to dry that layer, press the dry layer button in the side panel. Another great technique that you can do while painting with Adobe Fresco is wet on wet. By double tapping the circle icon while on live brushes, you get that pure water. And so paint it all over the canvas, go back, double tap it, and get your live brush full of color. By painting back over the water, you're creating a nice wash and you're allowing it, the paint to seep throughout the water that's already been poured over it, just like in an analog watercolor painting. So here we have our finished Adobe Fresco watercolor painting painted entirely digitally. And so one of the great things about this is I was able to paint with multiple layers, meaning that I could continuously edit, which we all know is very difficult to do in watercolor. And that's all we have for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you have any questions about Adobe Fresco, about my illustration, about any part of the process, leave it in the comments. And there's also a link to my Instagram and Adobe's in the description. Have a great day, guys.